So, how can we friction the supraspinatus? Well, there are different options. In fact, there are two options. You can friction the musculotendinous junction, but the lesion over there is very rare. So, in the majority of the cases, the lesion lies at the tenoperiostal junction. So, how can we reach that localization? Well, first, we ask the patient to move the shoulder in medial rotation. And what is the purpose? The purpose is that a tuberculum maius comes in front of the acromion and like this it's easier for us to palpate this structure. How you palpate the supraspinatus, that's your own choice, as long as you reach it. But one interesting method would, would be following. We palpate on the spine of the scapula and we palpate in a lateral direction. What do we feel? We just feel bone. We continue in lateral direction until we lose contact with the bone and then we feel something soft again. We go back to the bone and from that point we palpate in an anterior direction. Automatically we are on the acromion and at a certain moment you will lose contact with the acromion. You fall off the acromion and you fall on the tuberculum maius. That's the place to be. That's the place where we have a supraspinatus tenoperiostal lesion. Okay, how are we going to friction? Well, make sure the patient is in a good position and make sure that you as a therapist you are in a good position. We need this kind of grip, we call it the C, the C grip. Yeah. You take a contact on the structure, you take a low fulcrum with the thumb and the first thing we do is we move the skin superficially in an opposite direction. We call that the reserve of skin. Then we exert pressure and the active phase of a deep friction goes in that direction. Make sure you have a nice big movement and not a movement like this. This is very tiring for us and it's also more painful for the patient, so that's not the purpose. So always try to save energy by doing nice big movements. And another little detail, you don't use constant pressure. If you use constant pressure, again it's very tiring, but <laughs> it's also painful for the patient. So with a good friction massage, we always use pressure, active phase, no pressure, pressure, no pressure. And why did we take this reserve of skin? Why did we push the skin superficially in the opposite direction first? Well, to allow us to have a big movement without too much tension on the skin. Strangely enough, many people around the world keep on doing the same mistakes. I see very often that people friction the supraspinatus not from this position, but rather from that position. And they do something like this. Well, this is not a friction of supraspinatus. This is a friction of the anterior border of the acromion. So it's very, very important that your thumb is always in a low position, that your fingernail points towards the ceiling, that you have a pressure in downward direction, and then you are on the supraspinatus. Another mistake I regularly see is that they friction just like this. Well, that's also a friction of acromion and not a friction of supraspinatus. So please try to avoid that. The golden rule is this position. So when we friction the supraspinatus, then of course we need to be sure that the lesion is at that specific localization. Therefore, clinical reasoning and diagnostic specificity is quite important. In that perspective, I refer to the EDGOM publications and the EDGOM courses.